having a little moment here. Okay. All right, come on, little guys, get out of the bridge. There we go. We don't want you in the bridge. There. All right. We want you in the, or rather, I guess that would be the command center. The command center is usually, um, at least in these older style uh, destroyers, the command center was actually inside the ship located under the bridge believe it or not the bridge on a lot of these things back in world war ii were open <laughs> very strange you wouldn't think it was that way but yeah they were just open to the elements i think some of them threw canvas over top um, if they needed to but there was no reason why they couldn't control the ship from the command center the bridge just gave them a better view of uh, battle conditions and whatnot so Alright, well there you go. There's my two-bit history lesson. So take it as you will, I suppose. Alright, so shall we open up the radar? Yeah, maybe we'll open up the radar. Alright, come on, get up. And thank you for hitting your buddy out of his seat there, you little knucklehead. Alright. So we'll get him over here. Okay, so you may notice um, in certain positions of the ship, I actually have these ladders attached to the inside of um, uh, some of these guardrails, right? So I, I did it for two reasons. Uh, reason number one, it kind of added some texture on the outside of the boat, right? you get, almost get this riveting effect right so it just makes the ship a little visually more interesting um, the other practical purpose to it is it gives a place for the Kerbals to grab onto because um, when if you want the crew on the deck with the, um, without adding uh, these seats for them to sit into they just sort of slide around on the deck um, so to keep them stationary um, I did that so they have places to hold on to while the ship is in motion. So the, that's the two reasons why I have those things strategically located. Alright. Alright, so this guy I knocked out of his chair, so we'll sit him back down. There we go. Run, you little bugger. Come on, let's go. Yeah, get up. Perfect. Alright. on over there we go so how many do we got out here right now two four six so six uh, so about half the crew I have out on the deck So we'll have this guy put him up here. Uh, there you go.
Okay, and there's actually a fast way to get them down onto lower decks. Um, the struts here that I used as uh, as railings, they actually won't stop the Kerbals. Uh, the Kerbals do not, uh, there's no collision data for them, so the Kerbals can walk straight through those. So I don't have, because if you noticed with the design of this vessel, um, I would have to walk all the way to the bow here to, to get to these stairs uh, or rungs to get down to the lower deck. But fortunately, I can just walk right through the strut. So there we go. So I'll just let him fall down onto the uh, lower deck here. you can grab that sweet now if I do all this and find out it won't let me switch to the other ship I'm gonna be very upset I don't think that's gonna be the case uh, but it definitely won't let me quick save it I don't think after this so hopefully <laughs> everything goes smoothly because um, I believe it will not let you quick save although I don't know well we'll find out I'll see what happens Worst case scenario, um, it just won't let me. Um, I'll, I'll probably uh, not bother with it. I'm just gonna let things run as they may. So if it completely gets botched, then you know what? You guys get to see it get botched. Um, and you get to watch me F up. So that's okay. Fing up in this game is half the fun, as we all know. In KSP, failure is fun. And it really is. Oops, I went too far. Whoops. Alright, there we go. Alright, so this is actually pretty time consuming getting all these Kerbals out onto the deck. God, I still got like four more of them to bring out. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay, so there's two more after this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Go. Walk. Walk. There we go. Alright, so we'll stick you... How about up here? Run, little... Oh, he tripped! No! Alright, get back up, you little knucklehead. Um, so you, you'll notice that it, it is a little bit laggy. But like I said, man, this, this ship is over 800 parts. It's probably like 870 parts. So I kind of expected that. And my rig is five years old, six years old. So it doesn't have the um, highest uh, end processor rocking right now. But considering how old my rig is and how part intensive this uh, ship is, I got to say I'm pretty... Uh, I'm pretty impressed that it actually runs this smoothly. Like, it's not bad. It's definitely playable. Now, I know there's a lot of people who are like, oh, well, you know, if I don't get 60 frames per second, then I'm not even going to bother with it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not that fussy. So, as long as I can, as long as I can play it, and it doesn't look like a, um, like a comic book, <laughs> frame-wise, then, you know, I'm all right with it. So... And as we know, we, uh, KSP is dealing with a sort of limited engine, right? Because if it utilized, uh, like I have a rockin' GPU, um, uh, I have a 780 GTX. Uh, sp unfortunately, this engine doesn't utilize the uh, GPU for, for anything. If it did, it would probably run s like silk. Unfortunately, it's CPU in uh, intensive, and my CPU is six years old, so... <laughs> but anyways... Alright, go back to the ship, alright, so get this guy out, now I think there's one more guy in the bridge, but you know what, I'm going to leave him in there, so I'll just, I'll move this guy around, we, we have a nice setup here, uh, crews kind of scattered about the ship, um, it'll make it interesting for when we hit this thing with missiles, you'll see Kerbals flying all over the place.
Which is, of course, the idea, because Kerbal Death is fun, as we all know. And I'm sadistic. So, alright. There we go. Alright, so actually this makes a nice little view. And, of course, this took me some time here, so... The sun is starting to set, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so, do a little panoramic here. So there we go. We have the crew, kind of set up doing their thing. Very nice, very nice. Um, nice compliment. Uh, going about doing their business and very shortly death from above will be raining down upon their heads which is all good sweet oh yeah I was gonna open the radar okay well let's open up the radar since they're searching for stuff alright there we go I'll get that thing open and there we go Ha 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 ha. If they only knew. Alright, so let's switch back to the other boat. Oh, it just looks so damn good. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Alright, anyways, enough patting myself on the back here. Alright.